Hey, what's up, guys? Brock here. If you like my content, make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell, players. Hey, what's up, folks? Life with Brock here, presenting a couple of different customs that I haven't showcased yet. This Winter Soldier goes way back very, very early in my customizing history. I think it may have been my, my third figure. Uh, I got the head cast... And then the body I used was the Nick Fury from the Toys R Us exclusive three pack. And then I added a Bucky Cap right arm and shoulder for more range of motion. And the Odom Wave Hawkeye, the left arm, to have, you know, the metal arm and the range of motion. And then for the lower legs, I used the movie uh, Winter Soldier figure boots in order to add an ankle pivot and I did a little bit of sculpting it's not a great job I actually I like the dry brush uh, but the face is is pretty terrible pretty heavy on the paint I was really just learning there's absolutely zero joint prep what the heck is that in the shoulder at least I got the circle right but the star came out all whack big time the sculpting was okay. I literally had no idea what I was doing. But I got myself a, a Winter Soldier. Uh, the Winter Soldier f figure was going for like 80 bucks, I think. Ridiculous. And I got something that I can put on my shelf that I would be happy with. Look at that star. <laughs> Gosh. Not even close. But hey, you know, chalk it up to learning... Uh, <laughs> I just made indentations there. I just slopped it on. Oh, boy. The sculpting's pretty horrific. But the kit bashing, you know, you have to start somewhere. And I started with, well, just getting after it and getting it done. I was able to crack the figure open, put the arms in so they worked. You know, I, I learned so many different things. But the primary thing I learned was kit bashing, I think, with doing this figure. Uh, it retains all the original figure's articulation, and that's why I ended up using the arms that I did, because the, as you guys know, the Nick Fury arm is pretty terrible. There you have it. All right, another project I did a while ago is the Shatterstar. <laughs> I just added paint to the figure. This figure had very little paint. I, I think maybe the star on his eyeball and the thing on his chest. Very little paint. I painted everything, including the white. It's not that much of a drastic difference. You know, uh, just to soup up your figure, all you need is a little bit of wash. That's what I did on the hair. I I changed, uh, I darkened up the, the grays. I painted the white, a little bit off-white, and then I worked on the face. Now, the skill here is not that great, but it I was improving at the time. The skin looks a little bit glossy. I should have muted it down with some sort of matte finish or flat finish on the skin because you really don't want the skin being that shiny unless you know maybe around the mouth and the eyes and that's about it everything else i did a dry brush on that uh what is that some sort of scarf on the gloves i did as well the boots everything i think i left the star alone and i painted around the star on his eye uh made that try to make that look like leather same with the belt you know did some gold highlights on the belt painted the swords, and that's really about it. There wasn't much to sprucing this guy up, so if you're just starting out, give it a go. Repaint a figure, wash them with warm soap and water, get that oil off the figure, and then you can paint right on top of what they have there. Check out my custom video tutorials. I have a lot of information there for those of you that are just starting out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this very short video and I will definitely catch you on the next one. Players, peace. Toys, toys, toys.